Lights coming on then, and the run to the first corner in Formula Renault 3.5 is on. Good start by Roland, better nice. start Awful. for Orotsev. Oh yes, he's got bags of wheel spin. Here comes Vassivier, and he's going to get swapped too by Dillman, who goes along the outside, down to fourth position, and Orotsev is in the lead. It looks as though Dillman could go right round the outside to move up to second place. Roland's down to fourth, and Dillman runs wide, so that's going to drop him down to fifth position, possibly even sixth. Yeah, all the hard work from Tom Dillman in the yellow car undone as he's forced off on the exit of turn one. He went for go he went for gold and Arudishev's running wide out front backs of the air now. Putting Arudishev under big pressure as they head up the hill. Oliver Rowland, the pole man, still in third. How did he keep that? Because he was under big pressure into turn one. Arudishev lives to fight another day, but what happened to Oliver Rowland? It was a tough, tough start for him. It looks as though he got away. Uh, reasonably well in terms of reaction but just too much wheel spin went for the clutch and then got uh, a, a bit more wheel spin off the back of that but here he goes up the side of Vax of the air what a move that is an absolutely fantastic overtaking move and he needed to make that happen on that lap and look Vassimir is down to fourth place he's dropped back behind Latifi now so Latifi the Canadian is up to third place and that's Mehi in fifth position so he's been able to stay strong it looks to me as though Vassimir is now going to try and bring Latifi under pressure this is so bizarre for a first lap in 3.5 normally it settles down into a rhythm at this point but obviously this disappearance of the low downforce drag it's making a much more interesting dynamic for the race this is fantastic stuff and Latifi Look, he's already holding up the queue. Yeah, it's more cold tyres for me, those rear tyres. Some of the drivers not getting the heat in the rear tyres and over the f course of the first lap being forced offline as well has really hindered them. And back to the air, should be on the DRS now. He's up right in the turn of Latifi. Latifi will go defensive and that was Mary further back defending from Dillman as well. Shows Vax of the air the outside and I tell you what, Latifi's going to be hard to pass. Big lock up from Jafar. He's lost at least two places I would think there. It looks like Stoneman and Panis have both got through. Great defensive driving from Latifi. This is what he's been learning in European Formula 3 of late and it's great to see him bring it to 3.5 and really show his hand. But all this battling of course on the first and second lap, this has given Arudshev a get out of jail free card on that first Lap. He was all over the place trying to defend the lead, but now he's got clear air. He's out in front. I suppose everybody wants to be the next Max Verstappen, don't they? They want one season in this and jump straight in, but I it's not as easy as that. I shouldn't be facetious, but uh, yeah, it is the Max Verstappen effect. Now Latifi starting to crack because those rear tyres look as though they're going off. And Vax of the Air with the DRS open will go to the outside. Latifi has to get the car stopped. Vax of the Air will break very late. He'll roll off the brake. Can Latifi just push him wide? He gives him a little bit of room, and I don't think that's uh, the... Oh, oh, they touched! That, that's a puncher for Latifi. Oh, He's out. Oh, no. And uh, to be honest, he should have given Vax of the Air a, a, a bit of room there. But I'd like to just see a replay of that. I mean, Vax of the Air had the run. Yeah, Ollie Rowland does not need a second invitation to make a pass. If he sniffs an opportunity, that Fortet Motorsport car will either be around the outside or up the inside of Arud, Igor Arudashev quicker than you can call it because Ollie Rowland is that type of driver and we absolutely love watching him. He's braked very, very late and look, as I said, immediately putting Arudashev under pressure. And, uh, okay, Arudashev did the right thing there, rolled off the brake and just let Ollie Rowland... Uh, succumb to uh, track limits on the uh, exterior of the circuit but yeah this this will be interesting now because a bit like the Pietro Fantin dynamic um, you know Arudashev it's win it or bin it for him isn't it away from the scenes uh, in order to be in the position that they're in now for Arudashev and Oli Roland Arudashev got on the throttle mid apex there in the back end wobble this is a guy who's really under pressure here he wants to get this working in his favor but he can't afford to be too Banzai he defends once again Roland gets alongside him oh Arudashev's really run wide this is an opportunity no, he's done on purpose Arudashev has just uh, tried to run Roland wide but he gets very wide on the curb he's put one too many wheels on the curb and that's lost them a lot of time here comes Roland round the outside he's going to try and get the switch back but he's not got the right line for the next corner good defensive driving from Arudashev so what he's doing is going to the inside getting the car stopped and showing Roland the outside Roland then, when he's on the outside, Arudashev will just roll off the brake and make it impossible for Roland to get around the outside. So Arudashev 
He's doing absolutely everything right here in first position, OK? He's sliding around a little bit, but uh, he's got to win the race and be defensive, but he slides out wide. This could be the opportunity. He defends valiantly. Ronan is coming to the left side. He's going to have to back out and cut through, but he might get the acceleration off the corner. No, look, Arudyshev parks it perfectly. Yeah, very difficult to get around the outside there, and Arudyshev doing just what he needs to do. That car looking like uh, the rear tyres really starting to struggle now. Arudyshev doesn't have the pace to go forward, and Vaxavier is right there. So this proves a problem for Roland because with Arudyshev driving well, he's the meat now in a sandwich, and look at Mary as well in fourth place. And Roland cannot afford to do what he was doing before. He cannot have big, long looks on the outside. He cannot try and drive around the outside of Arudyshev without really risking losing that place because Vaxavier will just park it up the inside and push Roland off on the exit, and, that, and that's what we could see. So Roland now has to come back and think of plan B. Arudyshev looking very, very twitchy out of the last corner. That's where you'll see the rear tyres starting to struggle. Vaxavier is not close enough, and Arudyshev not feeling the need to defend too much, and we see a lock-up from him again the second time into turn one in two laps, but Roland there didn't look quite as aggressive, and looking to try and put Arudyshev under pressure again. And look, Vaxavier is just looking to pick up the pieces, isn't he? And so is Mehi. Who needs the low downforce form? And there goes Arudyshev. He goes very wide indeed. Four wheels off the track that time. Manages to get it back before Roland comes through. He is working so hard to hold on to this lead. Roland, Vaxavier and Mehi are right on his tail. This is a fantastic battle. And all of a sudden, there's another man who's looking to join the party. Fastest man on circuit is the man behind these four. Uh, it is now the man in fifth position, Dillman, and Stoneman is lapping quicker than these four as well. So we might even have half a dozen cars scrapping for the victory at Hungaroring. This is magnificent, and Roland is really starting to put Arutchev under even more pressure than before. He knows that he's got most of his main rivals right on his tail. Vasivier, his closest rival in the championship, and Stoneman is catching up to the back of these five now as well. I can't believe I'm saying five. A couple of laps ago, it was just the two of them. Now there's five. Arutchev, Roland, Vasivier, Mary, Dillman. He really will have earned his stripes because um, it has been impressive. He hasn't had the pace to go forward, but his defensive driving has been really, really fair and very, very good. Track limits again for Rudishev, and those rear tyres are really, really oh, struggling. Oh, has gone wide. Roland hits the, uh, hits the grass on the outside, and Vassivier is going to try and come through round the outside. He holds on to it. Roland's having to work very hard just to hold on to second place now. That was a big mistake from Roland under braking, and he has saved his bacon beautifully. This is starting it's not to over remind... Yet. It's, no, not it's not over not. yet, because dirt on the tyres, rear uh, last corner, but he has... Look at that. Uh, <laughs> Roland really wringing the neck of that Fortec machine, and that would have... Uh, his heart would have popped out of his chest there because it would have caught him by surprise. Just caught the white line in the grass with uh, his left front heading down into... Um, that turn 12 and uh, save of the season. Interestingly, Jacob Bosley and uh, a few others, Blainos on Twitter as well, are saying Arudchev. I have to say, it is looking more and more likely that way. Roland swarming around all over Igor Arudchev. He's made mistakes, which you would expect from a rookie, but every single mistake he's made, he's put right instantly. Carlin Racing is saying Tom Dillman. I'm not surprised, actually. Yeah, it doesn't come <laughs> as a great surprise, why. does it? Yeah, I wonder why. But he is getting closer to the back of Mehi. Now, watch. Mehi, this is the strongest we have seen Roberto Mehi all season. And he's now right on the back of Vassivier. This is now several directions to watch battle. This is the closest fight I think I've ever seen in 3.5 in my three years of commentating on it. And now it is literally open house as Mary closes up on Vassivier. Vassivier closes up on Roland. Roland closes up on Arutchev. And Dillman is catching all four of them. I was going to say, yeah, Dillman, they certainly picked the right man. The Frenchman has been absolutely electric in the last few weeks. A big mistake from Arutchev. The front end wobbles, big style. He manages to save it before Roland can get on the inside line. But that's the first real sign that we're about to see a man cracking under pressure. Two to go. And if you look at the top left-hand corner, yeah, you said it, Jake, that the, the time will tick down next time around, and then we'll have a, another lap, the plus one lap. So for Arudyshev, you almost think, oh, no, uh, you wish the clock had ticked round, uh, down this time around, and, you, and this would be the last lap. Vassivier's down to two. fourth. Vassivier's down yeah, to fourth. We missed that. Yeah, we, we did miss that. mehi has gone through into third position. That is crucial in terms of the championship. Mehi has managed to get himself into third position, so he's looking at a podium. Now, this is a different dynamic for Roland because Vaxavier didn't do anything. He was redundant. Mary's now got through and he looks aggressive. This is the last lap 
down into turn one. Mary not quite close enough. Rudishev goes a little wide. Roland now in the toe. Has he got any DRS left? One more pump. Yes, he's got the DRS open. Has Roland. Mary's not close enough. So Roland goes to the outside. Oh, Rudishev locks up. Here we an opportunity for Roland. He's got good acceleration. Roland's got better acceleration. Here he goes. Rudishev shuts the door. Roland goes to the right. Now dives for the left. Surely he can't get through. No, he can't. And that's going to set things up for Roberto May in third position. Rudishev is driving. Driving like a legend in first position, big slide, tank slapper from Roland. Yeah, so Mary would have been hoping that he was closer coming out of turn one, but he wasn't, and that gave Roland the opportunity to be incredibly aggressive, and Rudishev did not crack. This guy is made of firm material, and he's driven so well, he's got half a lap to go, Igor Rudishev in that Arden Motorsport car. I can't see him losing it from here. I hope he doesn't. He really does deserve this win. Roland's thrown everything at him. Mary, he's been absolutely sublime to get up from where he qualified. And then Vaxavier went backwards, didn't make the most of his opportunity when he was in third place. And can Dillman pass Vaxavier as this lap ticks down? Formula One, take note. We've got a talented 19-year-old Russian at the front of the 3.5 field with Roland, Mehi, Vaxavier, and Dillman on his tail. And he still hasn't cracked. Absolutely amazing two corners to go surely Roland can't get this one now I think he's left it far too late to try but he is gonna go for it he's gonna see if Arunzev can run wide Mary's gonna get on the inside line of Roland they're gonna be side by side Mary's gonna get second position he runs Roland wide Arunzev wins it absolutely amazing drive from the Russian what a fantastic performance from the rookie he just beat me Roland Vasivier and Dillman in a straight fight and Arden no surprises are absolutely Absolutely elated. What a drive from the front row of the grid for Arutchev. He had to win. He had to sustain the pressure. That is a rookie who is going places in world motorsport. No matter what he ends up in, that's a kid you can rely on under pressure. Yeah, Jake going perplexed, running out of breath <laughs> as the cars get over I've that. I've just run out of superlatives for him. That is one of the best drives I have ever seen from a rookie in 3.5. He had so much to lose, so much on the line. But what a drive. What an outstanding effort.